Ask me how a scuba diver actually social distance. You go scuba diving. Underwater. Click this little subscribe button over here and ding that little bell as well. That way you guys will be notified every time we upload new content. Now, if you can't tell, I'm not at home. Yes, we are still in quarantine mode. However, some businesses are still allowed to operate. Thankfully, our training and dive center is because we do a lot of public safety diving and salvage work. And if you can't tell, we're actually not in a public area. We're at a private lake right now. And this private lake is one that we do a lot of inspections for every year. We come out and not only inspect the lake, the quality and stuff like that, but this little pump section right there, and there's another pump section right back here that we actually have to swim up into because this local company uses these water pumps for their fire protection. So we do inspections for them. We make sure everything's good. We pump them out when we need to. We do repairs to them. So but that's exactly what we're here doing today. I've got one of my divers in the water. He's actually gonna be doing the inspection today, but I'll be walking you through exactly what he's doing when he's under there. And then hopefully you'll have a better under, understanding of what we're actually doing when we do underwater salvage work. Follow the pipe down. Remember, there's concrete columns all the way down it. Make a couple loops around it. Um, if you want to go out more than, say, a, whatever your body length, just take your reel hook to it and spin it, which I don't think you'll need to. Guys, I'm gonna give you a quick history. I can't really tell you where, where we're diving at, but uh, this dam that I'm walking across here, it's just a, a driveway, if you will. You can take a golf cart, you can take a truck through here. But this dam that I'm walking across here actually almost collapsed in 2012. And initially our job was back then was to regulate the flow of water here while they rebuilt the dam itself. And how did we do that? Well, with this wheel right here. You see this wheel actually controls the drainage pipe that's out here in the middle where the diver's gonna go down and do an inspection on. And so essentially what we did as they were rebuilding this dam, we had to control that water level to a certain height. So we would flow water nonstop seven days a week for almost six straight months and maintain that water level at a certain um, height, if you will. If we had a lot of rain in the area, then we'd have to drain it even more. But every hour we'd have to shut this drain pipe down right here. It takes almost 50 turns of this well to shut the, or the wheel itself to shut the water flow off. And so we would have to maintain it. Every hour we'd have to shut it down, go down, inspect the, the drain pipe, make sure everything was good with it, and then come back up, open that flow of water up, just to keep that water low enough for them to actually build the dam. And way back here in the corner, there's a creek that feeds this. So you can imagine with all the rain and the, the runoff that we usually get in the summertime, it was constantly filling this up. Well, every year since then, we've been doing underwater inspections. We do inspections on the drain pipe where this pipe goes out to, and then we do their fire protections, which is the intakes. There's an intake right there, and then the other intake here. So this is something we do a lot every single year. Um, it is hard work. The visibility here is very, very bad. And even in the summertime, it's low 40s, high 50s as far as the water temp at the bottom. But you'll see here briefly when the diver goes down, there's zero visibility when we're under there.
right, so here he comes back up. Once he gets up, we're gonna head over to the other two and then I'll show you exactly what we do on them. All good? Let's head over to the diesel pump first. All right guys, so now my diver's over here at the diesel pump and there's two pumps here. This is the diesel pump. Over here behind me, of course, is the electric pump. And what these are used for is basically to pump the water out of the lake into these buildings and all the facilities because this lake is the fire protection of this company. So basically all he's gonna do here is just go down, look at the main grate, look up and through, and there's several lift grates that we can lift up here, but if you can kind of see where I'm standing, that's all this pump section is. It's not very deep here. Um, he's just gonna kneel down, look at it real quick and then come back up. The electric pump system over there, he's actually gonna swim and go up inside of it. So he's gonna do a quick little inspection here and then we'll take you over to the big electric pump and take you down in here as well. Here's a neat little fun fact for you. Not sure if you're aware of this, but back in 2012, when this dam right here was being rebuilt um, and we were maintaining the water level, the water actually got too low for the pumps to still actually operate. And they had to bring a big track hoe in here to dip a big old canal out so that the water could get up inside the uh, electric pump over there. Well, during that process, if you look here below me, you'll notice that there are a ton of fire ant hills all through the grass here. And a neat little fun fact for you, if you're wearing a wetsuit or even a dry suit, fire ants don't drown. They float on the surface of the water and they will light you up. Back in 2012, we were here for six solid months, seven days a week. And I don't know how many bites and whelps I got all around my neck seal and even my wrist seals for my dry suit. We did have one diver here in a wetsuit and he actually got eight alive, man. Those ants were getting inside of his wetsuit. So if you do work like this, you need to make sure that you look out for what's in your environment. You wanna stay safe. And I can't stress this enough. I know a lot of you guys love watching these videos here on our channel. Please get proper training before you get out here and do work like we do because all of our guys are properly trained. We've been doing it for many, many years not just on the salvage side but also on the public safety side um, which leads me to the next part this electric pump house here anytime you're working around electricity or a drainage system you've got to make sure you do a proper lockout tag out procedure this is very prominent in the public safety world it's even more prominent in the uh, commercial and salvage world but we've got to make sure everything is locked out tagged out because as he swims up into this chamber here he's going to be inside this building underwater and there's just a huge pipe that comes down for the pump hopefully you'll see it when he gets under there so i can't stress it enough if you're going to do work like this make sure you're properly trained make sure you're doing it safe make sure you do your lockout and tag outs and you'll live to talk about it and show all your cool friends
virus right now but you know we're still working this is still what we're doing on our off days obviously but uh if you got any questions on underwater salvage work or public safety work drop it down in the comment section below and i'll try to answer it the best i can if you did like this video smash that thumbs up button for me definitely share it as well as always make sure you follow us on instagram and twitter like us on facebook pin us on pinterest subscribe to us here on youtube and as always guys we appreciate your business